What's up guys, it's Phil, and it's time for another update. So it is now January 3rd, 2020, aka 2020, aka the year of our Lord, 2020, 2020, I don't know. Anyway, the point is, it's the new year and it's time for me to get started by finishing up 2019. As you may have seen in my last update, I had a couple of projects that pushed back to the new year, so now it's time for me to get started on those projects now that it's the new year. So I'm pretty excited about this first project. Um, it is a smaller kind of faux fireplace, which is pretty awesome. Um, they changed the design on me a little bit, but that's okay because it actually made it slightly easier. The biggest thing with this project is that the client is going to want to be there to like see everything and they and they already pre-warned me that they're going to be like double checking every detail, not because they think I'm going to do anything wrong, but just because that's admittedly the kind of person that they are. I am okay with that because I would rather people find things wrong in the beginning uh, than at the end, but because of that, uh, I did go ahead and give myself a little bit of extra time expecting that if... Uh, you know, this project takes a little bit longer because of all the, you know, small nitpicky kind of details, uh, then I've got the time. If it doesn't, and I do a great job, and they're perfectly happy with everything all the way through, um, then hey, that's great too. I, it, I, it gives me extra time to finish getting caught up on 2019 projects. But it is 6.30 a.m. on Friday morning, and it is 40 degrees and raining outside, which is super awesome when you've got to load up a trailer, and then you're going to be cutting plywood all day. So I'm really hoping that the rain is going to die off. Um, I doubt that it's going to because that's just my luck, but it is what it is. So let me show you what we're working on real quick. So this is super cool. This was provided by the client, um, and they went ahead and gave me you know exactly what it is they want they gave me dimensions they gave me literally everything so that's gonna make it kinda easy to build this project the one difference is we no longer have this fireplace cutout we were gonna be doing a faux monitor inside behind this faux brick wall to have a fake fireplace but uh, instead this is now gone so I'm leaving the bracing here so that they can put a monitor on later but we're no longer doing that so that's gonna make the project a, just a little bit easier and go a little bit smoother I do need to plan for LED lighting up top uh, because we're going to have that installed inside so it'll shine down on the faux brick uh, and I've got to make sure that I've got my wiring going behind the face frame and I forget which side the outlet is on but I'll figure that out when I get there. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, everything's going to be white except for the brick. We're going with shaker style uh, doors and drawers. Or, I mean doors because there are no drawers. There's only four doors. So this is a smaller project. Should go pretty quick and easy. We've got some crown molding up top and I'm excited to get it done. So let's go ahead and get loaded up. The rain is a little bit calmer right now. I'm not seeing as much dripping. I'm not hearing as much on the roof. So this is probably the best time for me to go ahead and load up. So I'm going to load up. I've already got the plywood and stuff ready to go. And today is pretty much just going to be roughing in the cabinets and kind of getting everything planned out. Um, and we'll kind of just see how it goes. So let's get going. Hey, it's me again from the beginning of the video. Um, did you notice something cool in the background? 
Check this out. That is actually Eddie Van Halen's tiny guitar. So it turns out my client actually makes guitars. Um, not professionally anymore, but he's hoping to get back into it. Um, and what's really awesome is he actually made this guitar. Um, and so the one that you see on stage, the one that you see right here in the living room, are one and the same, which is super cool. Um, I'm not that into like, you know, rock and music memorabilia and stuff, but it is really neat to find somebody living in a random town in a random house in a random neighborhood and they do something awesome like that um i hope and wish that someday uh that that would be me or somebody would be like oh yeah that guy he does this cool thing but it's pretty neat i don't know i'm nerding out over it but you know i like it i like music i like guitars so if you like it great that's awesome if you don't hey keep moving on i don't, I don't know why you're watching my stuff It is Wednesday and I am uh, taking a shop day, is what I call them. Um, it's basically just a day that I decided to stay home and work from the shop as opposed to going out and, you know, doing 
things. Um, I've got a lot of catch up to do. I've got some big projects that I'm still working on. And so I've got a laundry list of things that I'm working on on my chalkboard back there. Um, plus I want to start kind of cleaning out and organizing my shop just a little bit. So that's the fun that I get to have this afternoon if I can get through all of the other things. Um, the good and bad of the other things is that I can only do a little bit at a time. So a little bit of poly on this, a little bit of work on that, finish up that, get ready to deliver this. And some of it might get completely done today, some of it might just get started today, but none of it is going to be anything that I'm going to get all the way done. Um, I spent the whole day thinking that yesterday was Wednesday and today was Thursday, so I guess kind of bonus there, I get a free day because, you know, I'm a child and can't keep track of the days of the week. But I'm going to very quickly, uh, at least for you, go through all of these things and get stuff done um, and just start chipping away at that giant boulder that is sitting on my head right now that is things that I'm behind on uh, and hopefully within the next couple of weeks I can get fully caught up so that I can get going on my next couple of projects uh, and start my big secret project for my business uh, for 2020 but that's secret so you can't know about it yet. at it. Uh, however, one major change has happened and that is that my client uh, is not super happy with the brick. I did this like faux brick work the other night. Um, they're not super happy with the result and to be honest neither am I. So we kind of came to an agreement uh, that I'm going to, for cost and time, I'm going to just tear it down and redo it. So I've got new faux brick here in my trailer uh, and I've also got some plywood sheeting that I'm going to use to put behind it to give it a little more substantialness, make it more sturdy. Um, I think that'll be good. So that is going to be my day today is basically pulling out and reframing that faux brick wall that I just did on Tuesday. Um, but that's part of the job and I would rather have a happy client and do a good job and good quality uh, because even I'm not happy with my own work right now so I'm going to change it up and I'm going to do it better uh, and then once it's all done it's going to look awesome. It should not take me too much time it's just I planned on like prepping for paint and finishing trim and being done today and that's obviously not going to happen um, so it's cool it is what it is but <clears throat> I've got my trim and two by fours, I've got my bricks, I've got everything I need to get started and I am late once again getting started. So I'm going to go and do that.
just like that, I am done. So this project turned out super awesome. Um, I really, really like it. I love the way the faux brick looks. Um, it is probably one of the cooler projects I've done that's on this scale, that's this small. Um, the client's super happy with it. I may actually need to adjust the doors. The way they turned out, I think he was thinking they'd be more even, and I did two together and one separately. So I may be going back to fix that, but that's okay. That's part of the whole customer service thing, making sure people are happy in the end. But for now, it looks super awesome. They love it. I love it. The LEDs work. The TV's in the right spot. It's super cool. So I'm happy. But right now it is Saturday, aka Dadder Day, which means it's time for me to hang out with my fam. So I'm gonna go hang with the kids and play some games or do something. I don't know, it's a nice rainy day. We'll probably go outside and play in the rain and get all wet and muddy, but we're gonna do something, so. So I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Find me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. I think I'm all at PMK Woodworking uh, across all social media, so definitely check me out there. Find Yoshi, he is at Chillis Shiba on Instagram. And definitely make sure that you go to charliepants.com. Check out their inventory. Use the code PMK20. They're sponsoring my channel right now and sending me some pants, which are super awesome. I'm using them in all my videos right now just because the pants are great. So check them out. Use my code PMK20. Get yourself 20% off your first order. And make sure to sign up for their rewards program and their mailing list so that you know when they've got new products coming out. And the more you buy, the more you can get. So I'm gonna go hang out with the family, but you guys enjoy your weekend, have fun making stuff, and we'll see you next time.